SK. That's full throttle, dude. Water skiing, dude? It's the version of water skiing. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh, he's going down. <laughs> What's happening? Pull up! Is there a way to pull up? He's in the dirt, dude. Oh no! Oh god! Hey! You good, bro? Oh, he's good. That does not make the internet! Him being Dude, day one, how long was that? That was what, like, God, we've been here for an hour. I called it, I called the crash at Oshkosh, and I called that one. Welcome to the High Sierra Fly-In 2017. We're just finishing up on Saturday night and man, things got crazy. Got people crashing, we had stole drags and it was amazing. Check it out. People are just starting to arrive. Oh, look who it is. For those people that don't know, this is Kevin Quinn, the creator of the ICR, ICR Flying. Plan. Dude, you're the man. Flying Cowboys. Trent is getting his honorary cut. Flying Cowboys on the back. What? On the sleeve. Check Dude, it out. It what? even has no his name shit. on it. Dude, it's my big on. day. There's only 15 of these. <laughs> yeah, that's flying sick, Flying Cowboys. Dude. Trent's a flying cowboy. Yeah. Hooray. Which way are we going? <laughs> yeah, we're, it's, we're up here at Outlook. Dead Cow Lake Bed, High Sierra Flying is right there. A whole bunch of crazy people down there. Yeah. Trying to stay away from all those crazy people.
landed up at Tower Saddle. This is a bitchin' little spot up in this little, I guess, saddle, which is why we call it that, but it's pretty sweet. We got the original Flying Cowboys out here. Good f***ing time. Awesome up here, dude. dude. Yeah, so right now uh, it is Wednesday. It's the start of the High Sierra fly-in. And tomorrow there's supposed to be a huge wind event coming in. They're talking, I think, <laughs> like gusts of 60 miles an hour. So we're all joking that we'd be able to take off going backwards. I probably won't even come out for Thursday. Uh, sounds like the wife's going to drive the motorhome out on Friday morning and I'll just fly out and that's when the party will begin. So probably going to blast forward into the future. So we'll see you guys at the next part. Ready? All right. It is Friday morning. Last night was windy out at Dead Cow, so we didn't even go out. It turns out, I think they said that there was one porta potty that blew over and an actual cub got flipped from the wind, a J3. Uh, rained as well, so everything's wet. I don't know, we're, we're kind of killing some time before we uh, try to drive the motor home out that we rented. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not drinking beer, I'm just holding it because we're loading up. But, um, then we're gonna fly the plane out. So, what do you think? I think it's gonna be pretty epic. What's up guys? Healy and I loaded up, ready to go, heading out to Ice here. And we're here at Dead Cow. There's Steve Henry. Uh, Justin is in the motorhome and it is muddy, so we are going on a rescue mission to go get him. Just I hope he's this. okay. Nah. Yeah, that does not look that promising. Let's see what you can find. Uh huh, look who made it. Well, partially. Show me on here where it says <laughs> take a left turn on a Flanagan Road. Because this f***ing thing will have you go all the way out to Pyramid. Alright, so now Haley and I are jumping in the RV since it's my name on the insurance. We're going to try to drive through this mud and get out there. You ready? Yeah. One more nasty patch and then we're there. Yo, Quinner! We made it! It's just we had to do some creative meandering. What's up guys, setting up camp here, right next to, uh, we're, we're camp center is what I should say. Hailstorm's already got everything set. Ditching. Check it out. Good job, babe. Right now, I'm that fastest time because Steve DQ'd. So, hey, Ty. Hi. Just got here and he called me out. We're going. We're racing. He's got the little speedster kit box that's faster than mine, but you suck at flying. And he's a totally. pilot, so you're screwed. <laughs> he is a pilot. <laughs> it's the bro down of the century. Ty and T-Bone. Oh, shit. Trent's gonna stop first. Oh. Okay, it is, get focus, it is the morning of Saturday. Saturday morning. Saturday morning, dead cow. It's a cold one. We're all scraping ice off our wings, trying to get ready so that we can go do a little photo mission. By the way. By we, I mean me. You left like 99% of your ice on your wings, so what you did was exactly zero, uh, well, 1% of what you needed. FYI. It'll fly. We're gonna learn about drag and uh, <laughs> aerodynamics. Aerodynamics <laughs> for the vlog this morning. Yeah, the vlog. The vlog, oh, dude. The vlog. We're gonna go look at this plane. Yeah, you got ice, but you got a kit box on that one. And there's one of our boys coming in. He already went and warmed up. I think he burnt some ice off his wing already. So we're gonna go fly around. So at this point in the event, I really let my filming fall to the wayside in light of just flying. So we did go out, do a photo mission for a magazine that I think will be published over in Europe somewhere. But we're gonna go ahead and flash forward to the Stoll Drags, which is kind of the highlight of this entire event. Matt Palmer, Dave Machado, here we go. Here we go, on the arm drop, three, two, one.
and the stole drag race for anyone who's wondering what that is basically stole stands for short takeoff and landing and basically this is the merging of a race as well as a stole competition into one essentially how it works there's two lines three quarters of a mile apart the first line is the start and finish line that's where we line up the flag will drop we take off we fly and land on or beyond the second line we have to come to a complete stop on heading if you don't completely stop or you turn off heading at all that's a disqualification you whip around take back off land on or beyond the finish line and come to a complete stop on heading it's a timed race so it's the first one to stop that wins Made it to the semifinals. There's only four of us left. Uh, it's me in the Kip Fox. I got Steve Henry, the current reigning world champion. Him and I are going next, which means I'm probably not going to make it to the finals. There's two Carbon Cubs going right now, but hell, I'm proud I made it this far. I'm uh, completely outgunned horsepower wise, and most of them are better pilots than me. So, you know, if there's anyone to lose to, I guess it's him. Not by much though, it was, it was. Uh, they said like a second, I bet it was more like two or three, but now we're doing the race to find out who gets third place. Either way, again, I was, I was happy for top 10, so I'm stoked. Trent lost to Steve Henry by about a second and a half. Trent is a contender, Jason Sneed is a contender. This will be a good race. On the arm drop, boys. Three, two, one, see ya. Oh, he pulled it way too early.
Trent Palmer. <laughs> Trent Palmer by a half second. I hate microphones. The third place winner of the High Sierra Stoll Drag. You get a magic eight ball, buddy. This might get a lot of things for you, but you also got a nice sticker. It says you're a Stoll Drag racer. Anyway, third place, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, it's a magic eight ball. Tell your future with that. The former reigning world stole drag champion. I know he's just cringing here in that. Well, My buddy Steve Henry. Nice next year. He gets this beautiful skull that's been made by Rod Elliott. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, cool. He gets another beautiful belt buckle that goes with the belt buckle he's got. Yeah, it's right he's got another one. Yeah, he's got his stole drag racer yeah. patch. And Steve, thanks, buddy, man. Thank oh, he's awesome. Thanks a bunch. Thanks. Thanks. This belt! Yeah. Oh, 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 next year. Put the belt on, buddy. Put the belt on. This is ridiculous. Put the belt on, buddy. So that everybody knows, this belt comes back next year. Yeah. And that will be next year's champion. You're going to have to parade around. Good thing we're not making you do it in your BBDs. <laughs> All right, guys, so there you have it. The High Sierra Fly in 2017 was a success. Super fun time. And uh, yeah, sorry I didn't film more. I was just having too much of a good time. Anyway, if you guys like these, you know the drill. Go ahead, comment, subscribe, and see you on the next one.